Hello, everyone, and welcome to Van Tech Corner. This is not a tutorial of videos, but this is just a sharing videos, and I'm very happy to show you that I have just received a pixel from one of our OpenWRT developers, and he sent me these three stuff. So his name is Martin, or you can find him at Horicus on the OpenWRT GitHub. And actually, he is the one who add the support for several types of device. For example, this Actrim Networks WSAP3A25I. And beside this network Actrim, you can also find all the devices such as the Mero Keys, MR12 or MR16. And currently, he also working on the OpenWRT for Aruba AP175, which is a high performance outdoor asset point from Aruba. So the spec of this one is more or less the same with the AP105, except for some details. So this is an overview of the Aruba 175. So right here you can have some of the big antenna connectors and this one right here, it should be a USB console port, all right? It is very heavy. And then on this side, we have an Ethernet connector. So this is where you connect the Ethernet cable and power on the device with PoE. At this side, we have also the antenna connector and some LDD indicator. All right, so we do have some name and several number as well as something like that. Currently, Horikas is actively working on the OpenWRT support for this device. And I will be sharing with you a new video once this device is ready for OpenWRT. And I will show you how we can install OpenWRT on this device. All right, so next, this one, the Actrim Networks WSAP3A25i. This is a dual core CPU with 256 megabyte of RAM and it has dual radio as well as dual frequency such as the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And this one is running OpenWRT at the moment. So I will be sharing with you a performance of this device. Let's see how it handles the turbos, the wallet connection, and then I will be sharing with you how we can install OpenWRT on this one. So beside the two asset points, Horikos also sent me this mini PCIe wireless adapter. And actually this one is the MediaTek. Let me check. So it is actually MT7916 and AX module that can work on 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz. So later on, I will be testing this one with OpenWRT x86 or also with this Xtreme Networks. All right, so beside that, I also got a 48 volt PoE adapter. So this one will be good to use with the Aruba AP175. Alright, so just a short video to update you guys what I have been working on and also a short video to thank Horikas for your great stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.